I'm going to try and talk you through how to try and figure out the solo to What Will You Say? as performed by Jeff Buckley in France, July 1995. The recording is on the Mystery White Boy CD. I'm just editing this video and I thought I would clarify that this is an edited down version of me listening to the song, trying to work out the sections to demonstrate them to you. I've put some rough tab in there just so you know roughly where to put your fingers. And I heartily encourage you to um, just start training your ear because it'll, it'll serve you so well in your guitar playing journey. Like, if you can listen to something and figure it out, no matter how slow, if you can listen to it and sort of roughly find the notes, then you'll be laughing. Get your guitar in tune. It should be an open G tuning already, but here's the recap. So you're going to be tuned D, G, D, G. B, and then D. So you know that melody already, you know it intimately, you know it like the back of your hand. We're going to play that an octave up, we're going to, because the solo comes in explosively. I'm not going to cover the picking just yet, we want to get the notes under your fingers. If you listen carefully to it, you can hear there's a G, there's a G note droning away. Wow, so... That's going all the time underneath the notes. It doesn't matter if you hit the D string either, because those are some handsome droney notes to go under your melody notes. So, those melody notes are going to be on your... We're going to start off the solo on the B string whilst droning. So it's those melody notes, but higher. So we go on the B string, you go in, the notes you go in between are the 12th fret, 13, 15, 17, 18, and back down again. And that's your first section, and then it comes out into that. Still all around the 12th fret, we're going to drop below the 12th fret to do some stuff around the 10th fret. Um, still hitting any drone strings that make sense to as you go, but the, the melody notes you want to look for are on the 10th fret on the B string to the 12th fret. And uh, throw some bends in there, why not hey? So, 10, 12. Yeah, 10, 10 to 12 and then bend it up a little bit, slur that note, and then pull it off. And then you're walking down on the G string, 12 to 10. And then you're going to hammer on 9, 10 on the G string, and then hit the 12th fret on the B. I'm hitting this D note to drone it, because, you know, why would you not? Oh, love it. So, to recap. Uh, <laughs> play around with the picking, thrash around, get the notes under your fingers. So after you... We're here, we land here. So uh, first finger on the 10th fret, on the A string, which is tuned to G, and our little finger, 
I'd use my, no, ring finger, sorry, because we're going to be using our little finger in a minute. We're going to use our ring finger on the G string, so. And you can hammer on with your middle finger, so. There's where the little finger comes in, so. Little finger. With the little finger on the fret to the 13th. notes as well it kind of helps to kind of figure out where you need to be on your guitar if you can sing the notes a little bit <laughs> That's silly, but it's true. You should try it. Uh, so I would encourage you to try and sing the notes to the solo. It doesn't matter if you can sing or you can't. Sing the notes and get used to them in your head so that when you play them on guitar, you can hear them. So there is a, the, um, so after you've done your. After you've done that sort of thing, uh, the next bit, we're going to keep the new droning string uh, on the streets is the B string. So for the next bit, we go. Uh, and so on. So try and sing the notes, and then it'll kind of make sense when you're trying to figure it out on your guitar. Um, so we've just gone up high, and we want the B string to be droning, because I've heard them. So let's find those notes. Bollocks. Okay, so it takes us down to the open strings. <laughs> Sorry about that. We want to play those notes while droning the B string notes. So. I think that's what we're looking for anyway. So I'd just do it all on the G string. 14. 14, 16, 17. Down to 7. To 9. And that brings us into the bit. So let's figure that bit out next. We'll lead into it with this. So we're going to drone our A string, tuned to G, um, fifth fret on the D string. Now we're going to walk up five, seven, nine. Back to five. And we're going to walk up again, but we're going to go fives. Five, seven, nine, ten. And then we're going to go seven, nine, ten. So put this piece together. Um, and then there's a big old fudgy note where it's just sort of. I can't really hear what's going on, even when I slow it down until the... Uh... Uh, which is uh, towards the crescendo kind of thing. Um, and that's just thrashing around from 10 to 12, doing this like, octave thing. So you've got a finger on the A string and a finger on the G string. Letting the what notes we're going to ring out drone, dronally. Let the droney notes do their thing. Yeah, so you're gonna go from this. Uh... Yeah, it's gonna climb up. Find the intervals and climb up. And on that last one, I think you can whack your little finger down on the whatever fret that is. <laughs> uh, what's that? Uh, 15, 17, 19. It's the 21st fret. The last dot on mine. And then an inch here. Dang, no. Mother dear! Bit. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Please let me know how you get on. Like, it's hard. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs>